Welcome back. Right now, we continue the conversation. Facts, not fear. Dr. Gary Minnie is with us. He is the chief medical officer from the Medical Center of Southeast Texas, and we are getting your questions right as they come in. So I want to jump to some of these. We just heard from Daniel and Noam, who's interested in volunteer opportunities with organizations. You were saying that's that's tricky at this time. At this point, at least in the hospital setting, there's not going to be volunteers. Now, there may be other organizations uh, throughout the community. There may come a time where you're having delivery services, meals on wheels, things like that. Um, but with inside the hospital setting, no. Mrs. D wants to know, people are saying hot weather will help kill the virus. I've heard things like that. But again, the, the goal here and the take home message that we're trying to drive home is stay at home, social distance yourself. If you don't need to be out, don't be out. Okay. Should pregnant women be working with the general public right now? Social distancing. Same, right? same message. Same, it's the same whether you're pregnant, not pregnant, whether you're young, you're old. Um, it's trying to keep spaced out. Gotcha. Let's check out. Uh, we also heard some questions that have been submitted here a little bit earlier today. We're going to go to one from Natasha in Beaumont. Wants to know if someone in our apartment building gets the virus, what's the risk of it spreading? So the same. Again, crowded areas. So what we're trying, again, to drive home is if you don't need to be out and you can be at home, stay at home. If you're in crowds, you want to try and be at least six feet away from people. If people sneeze, right, you don't want to be walking into that, that type of stuff. So the more you can space yourself out, the less of the chance of the virus spreading and it's like sort of dropping that curve. This person's message is twice, so I want to get this in. Uh, she's 81 years old, he or she, saying someone's coming to clean their house tomorrow with young kids. Uh, Ruth wants to know, this is Ruth in Port Arthur, whether Correct. she would let them come to her house. I would forego having your housekeeper come tomorrow. Probably a good time just to, just to pause. And again, exactly. uh, Gigi, should someone with asthma be overly concerned? So again, asthma is a risk factor, right? Because this is a respiratory disease we're talking about. So it can be put you at a much higher risk. So okay. again, trying to stay uh, indoors, social distancing, good. And again, wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands, right? Don't touch your face. Yep, can't, can't do it enough. This person says, my husband and I flew into LAX March 5th through 10th. They stayed in Beverly Hills. Hope you had a good trip. Yeah. Um, they now have known symptoms. Should we get tested? So again, there's a criteria for testing still. They're just not I want to get tested and you get tested. Even with the clinic in Beaumont? Even with the clinic in Beaumont, as you heard, uh, I think it was Dr. Adams was the name up on the graphic. Yeah. Um, so they're going to run you through a series of questions. Um, and if you meet that criteria, you're going to test you. If you come from a level two area, which basically everywhere is a level two area now in probably the United States, the, the goal is to self quarantine for 14 days. You can take your temperature twice a day. So if they flew in from the fifth, 14 days would be the 19th. Okay, we're going to take a quick break and hopefully grab a couple more questions. No problem. One of the most common ones we're getting is uh, about how well the various wipes, I think we have some down here, how well they work to fight this. So we'll get to that in just a second. Stick with us. 